Okay, so we got a sprawling ranch here with, uh, you've got two by six ceiling joists. And there's a combination of rock wool and fiberglass. I don't, there's no baffles in any of the overhangs leading out to the eaves. So therefore there's no entrance air coming in to the, to the attic at all. This is a peak out this way here. So adding a peak vent there would help. There is a full ridge vent system up here, which I can, I can see daylight through and that is drawing. We've got a peak vent over on that side and then a peak vent over on that side. So there's a real hot spot right here where this door is. So there's a challenge here. The, the best method is going to be, would be a foam up on the, on the rafters themselves, a closed cell foam. And then that would be, uh, the ultimate solution price wise that might not work. So the second would be the cellulose over top of everything here, about 12 inches to help keep the warm air in. And of course we'd have to coagulate or coordinate with the, what we do with that doorway. Um, so I got to, uh, but you can see right down in these overhangs, this is where the edge of the gutter is and we should be seeing daylight there and we're not seeing any at all. So in the conventional method, baffles, which look like giant egg cartons, should be sticking down into the overhangs and up into the attic and the insulation up to it. Now the insulation actually should be, we should not be able to see in these ceiling joists and they should be covered by about another six to eight inches of, uh, of insulation. So what's here, what might have started out to be an R19, maybe, or an R20, maybe an R20 at the time, uh, is probably diminished down to about an R14 now. Code is R45, I believe, is what the codes have moved up to. So, so we can create the entrance there, and we got hot spots like this that have to be dealt with. <clears throat> these drop lights, or these uh, can lights here, get really warm. So what we do is we take and we actually box them out with an aluminum boxing, and then get the insulation over it, so you don't have to worry about any fire or anything. So this would, uh, and the cellulose, if you did the cellulose in here, uh, it's a flame retardant product anyway, so you can actually put right to there, but we would keep it open anyways in case that way if you ever got to service it, um, you can. But ultimately, if we can shoot, if the budget allows us to put the insulation to the bottom of the roof decking, the foam insulation that is a closed cell that won't let any vapor barrier, vapor pass through it that is the route to go so we'll have to get the numbers together for that but in the meantime there is definitely some ice formation on the edge um that that is a big concern because water is coming in and we were out here about five years ago doing ice removal so the problem has not fixed itself as they usually don't